I live in Orange, Utah, but I'm from Cannonville, which is just down in the Valley of Bryce Canyon. These lands that, that this proposal is addressing, these BLM lands are marginal lands. They're fragile lands. There's not very much water there. They propose to lock up the water that is there and not let it enter and not recycle through the natural system. In addition, they're going to use millions of gallons of water that would have to be drawn from somewhere. They're, the water is not there naturally. Any of you who have been there know that. And so someone's going to have to give up their water. Who's making that choice? Do the people of Alton get to say that, that the BLM can take their or that Alton Coal can take their water? Who gets to say that? Because the people are not. The wildlife that's going to be disrupted is, is it belongs to all of us. These are public lands. They belong to every citizen in this country. How many people are getting to say what happens to these lands? This is critical. And, and if we don't speak up now and take a stand, it will just continue and these lands, will, we will lose them. They will be gone because this, whatever is done to these lands, even a two-track car or truck going through these lands, the effect lasts for years and years and years. You can see these trails. And so a strip mine going in to these lands, that is absolutely ridiculous. And for what? Dirty coal? Dirty coal. Dirty coal.